Okay, so recently I opened up my emails to check if there was anything new, and I went into my spam folder not thinking much of it, and then I discovered this, which might be one of my favorite scam emails I've ever received, so please enjoy. So I got this email here from a Mrs. Isabella Grace Lawson <laughs> with the email jobvacancyresumerecruitment at gmail.com, so we're off to a great start. <laughs> And, and she starts this email off with, Greetings to you, my dear. My name is Mrs. Isabella Grace Lawson from London, UK. I asked for your help in the gentlest language. I saw your profile on Twitter. I considered you worthy for this charity donation project. <laughs> so right away, uh, not only is this person apparently from London, UK, using the wrong like tense saying i asked for your help and uh i considered you worthy um but also they saw my profile on twitter and we'll get back to why that's weird and why they found this via my twitter uh <laughs> and then she continues i am a dying woman who has decided to donate what i have for charities i'm not a charity i am 60 years old and i've been <laughs> hold on I am 60 years old and have been diagnosed with lung, cervical, and throat cancer four years ago. <laughs> Immediately after the death of my husband, life for me in this world is not so important as we are spending our lives in this world to be able to have a place in heaven. I was touched by God, oh God, to donate these funds, US dollar, 2,500,000. Yeah, the lady in her 60s from London, UK, using dollars, yeah. Which I inherited from my late husband to the good work of humanity. That I inherited from my late husband to the good work of humanity. Instead of allowing his relatives to ruthlessly use my husband's funds. Family inheritance, that's not allowed, as long as I have a say about it. While lying on my sickbed, I want you to help me realize my last wish on earth, which will be very beneficial to you. <laughs> and then, and then I love the grammar here. It continues. As the only survival in my family, and I don't have a child that will inherit this fund, these are the desires of my heart, hence my decision, as I do not have a child to take over my late husband's inheritance, as I want you to stand in for this charity project. I need a person with honest and dignity to handle this charity project. Presently, I am very sick, as I was told by my doctor that I have colon, lung and throat cancer, and colon. I have a few months to live on this earth. I will send you the deposit certificate documents related to these funds. Immediately I receive your response and also furnish urgently the following informations. <laughs> 1. Your full name. 2. Your telephone number. 3. Your age. 4. Your occupation. 5. Your country of origin. Remain blessed in the name of the Lord, Miss Isabella Grace Lawson. <laughs> now... The, th the first uh, informations that I have to furnish urgently is my full name, which uh, is it, my full name is in my email address, so this person would already know that. Second, they found this email through my profile on Twitter, which is odd because my, my profile on Twitter links to my business email, and this is my personal email. <laughs> this is so stupid, I love it. Um... It's very clearly a scam. It's it's a very bold scam, though, because usually these scam artists will say, like, oh, I am a dying woman from Kenya or from Somalia or whatever, from India, so that, you know, the poor grammar can be kind of excused. But this person is literally claiming to be from London, UK, with a very English name, which would imply they would at least have a good grasp of the grammar, you'd think. But no, grammar errors everywhere, so instantly you know it's fake. Google brands it by saying similar messages were used to steal people's personal information. Avoid clicking links, downloading attachments, or replying with personal information. 
So <laughs> right off the bat, Google was telling me that don't trust this lady, man. Don't trust this Isabella Grace Lawson in the name of the Lord. Um, <laughs> I still can't get over, though. Furnish urgently the following information. So you can tell this was put through Google Translate, but I have no idea where from. Because in what language would they say furnish urgently the following information? <laughs> now, at current, I have not replied to this email. But a part of me really wants to reply to this email and mess with the scammer. But seeing as this message has been sent to other people, seemingly exactly the same message, I'm not sure if this person is a bot or an actual scammer person. If people want me to respond to this person and mess with them, I will. But at current, I'm not going to. Uh, I just wanted to share this incredibly wacky email with you guys. Uh, <laughs> This is so stupid. Don't fall for scams, people. They're so easy to detect, especially ones like this. So, I'm sorry, Miss Isabella Grace Lawson from London, UK. I'm not a charity project, and I will not furnish urgently these informations. Sorry about the lung cervical anthro cancer, but uh, I'm not going to take your two hundred two two million five hundred thousand US dollars from the London, UK. So, uh, be blessed in the name of the Lord, and. Uh, I can't even take this seriously. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Yeah, if you guys want me to respond to this and mess with them, I will. But um, at current, I'm not going to. Also, because this is sent to my personal email, this is not like a burner account or anything, and I don't want to risk anything. Um, yeah. <laughs> I guess see you guys next time, and uh, let me know in the comments. Do you want me to do this? Do you want me to mess with them? Yes or no? And I'll uh, see you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>